Okay, in this tutorial we'll be going over the Rayleigh channel. Um, to start this tutorial we will use the uh, code from the generic channel tutorial because recall that the Rayleigh channel is simply a subclass of the generic channel so this allows us to use um, all of uh, the functions that we used to set up the generic channel to set up the Rayleigh channel. So to create a Rayleigh channel we can simply pass the string Rayleigh to specify uh, what type of channel to create. So if we do this, we can see that uh, the variable C is now a channel Rayleigh object, which is a subclass of the channel object. Um, and because of that, we can uh, use all of these uh, set commands that we used before. So I just ran the entire script. We can see that uh, the variable C is uh, a Rayleigh faded channel and it has all of the settings um, as desired. So we have an 8x4 uh, channel, so 8 transmit antennas for receive antennas. Um, we still don't have a channel matrix yet because we have not invoked an actual realization of the Rayleigh channel, but we are ready to do so. Um, so let me go ahead and do that. So a Rayleigh channel is very simple. Um, each entry of the channel matrix is simply drawn from a um, normal, complex normal distribution. So to invoke a realization does not require any further setup. And we can just call c.realization. And um, this will actually return the matrix for convenience. So if we do that um, and run this, we can see that uh, h is a matrix of size um, four by eight. So there are four rows and eight columns. Okay, and so recall that um, our channel energy normalization, which is set to true, will force the channel matrix to be of a specified channel energy. In this case, we set it to one. So we can verify this by simply computing the Frobenius norm of the matrix H and we can see that in fact it is equal to 1. So if we turn this off and rerun this, we can see that the Frobenius norm of the H matrix is not constrained to any specific value. Um, in expectation it should be equal to 1 because each uh, entry of the matrix um, has variance 1, but it is not uh, forced to be any value every time. So if we do, in fact, want to, of course, we'll set that to true. And before, we had set this to 1. So let's say we do not set it to 1. Um, recall that by default, the normalized channel energy is set to the product of the number of transmit antennas and receive antennas, so the number of elements in the matrix. And thus, uh, when this is set to true, and we have not specified a channel energy to normalize to, um, the channel will automatically normalize to 32, which is the product. So, which is in fact what it had done, and it doesn't matter you know, how many times we realize this, notice that these values are all changing on each realization, but the Frobenius norm of the channel squared is always staying the same. So this is the Rayleigh faded channel. It's a very simple channel, um, does not require um, any real setup beyond um, a generic channel, um, and it does not rely on any uh, structure or geometry of the arrays. It simply draws each entry of the channel matrix from a complex normal distribution with mean 0 and variance 1. So this concludes uh, the Rayleigh faded uh, channel tutorial. Um, stay tuned for other channels which are a little more complex, you know, require some of their own setup um, because they're parameterized channel models to some extent uh, and in fact may depend on the actual array geometry here. On a quick note, uh, I mentioned that the Rayleigh channel does not re rely on any of this, so you know the actual type of array we create here does not matter because um, the actual geometry of the array does not come into play when generating uh, or realizing the actual channel matrix. So these could be um, you know, any of any orientation. Uh, obviously the simplest is to just create uniform linear arrays. But anyway, stay tuned for more videos. Thanks.